We're here at Newt Knight Cemetery. It was illegal for uh, black and white to be buried in the same cemetery and, and obviously to be married to one another and um, you know, he, he defied all that. What I see in regard to, to Newt Knight and Rachel, and their relationship, and by ex extension, his relationship with the entire mixed race community for his entire life uh, is, is a, an evolution uh, toward the very end of this where Newt Knight, when he dies, has himself buried right next to Rachel Knight, next to the woman that had played such an important role with him during the war and during Reconstruction and in being the mother of uh, five of his children. A, a very interesting end to a very fascinating story is they're being buried together in an integrated cemetery in segregated Mississippi. The situation with Newt and Rachel sort of was validated in a sense in his obituary. Uh, in the Ellisville newspaper, it talked about, you know, everything that he had done during the war was, was noble and understandable. Uh, except that he ruined his life by marrying the former slave, uh, Rachel. But they used the word Mary. That's where he's buried today, and he's the only white person in that cemetery. On his footstone, he has a, a sow, his shotgun, that he carried everywhere with him even after the war. And an inscription that he lived for others, you know. And, and that, that sums who, who Newt was perfectly.